Guess what we're doing today? Yeah. So finally, we're getting the clutch put on. So we got the clutch, we got the throw out bearing, got that in there. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the factory one that's already in the car as is, as far as I know. It feels like it's okay, but I figured since we're gonna be tearing everything apart, might as well replace it with a new one. So that's what we're getting set to do right now. Uh, don't think we're gonna have enough time to do the headers. Um, that's anywhere from a five to seven hour job by itself. So gonna keep the headers here today for now, but I'm still planning on getting the headers or hoping to find time to do the headers on the car before track day, which is on the 13th. But just for today, we're gonna take care of the headers and then um, got that fun braking period of 500 miles afterwards. So let's get it. All right, so we're at, at our bay. We're just disassembling everything. So with the, the install of the clutch and this, I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step install. Uh, it's gonna be pretty close to how we did it with the shifter, like just a general overview of everything. But uh, we have everything we need, so I can't imagine it would take more than a few hours to get this on. So let's get at it. So we're just waiting for this. To cool off a little bit because obviously it's still fucking hot we just drove this thing but while we're waiting for that sure this is obvious but it's always a good idea to use like a sharpie or something i can see that to mark the placement of your drive shaft so when you put the shit back together you know it, it goes back exactly how it's supposed to so we're going to start back here and just get these off first and then give this time to cool down and then undo all this stuff and yeah this is it's warm so Okay, so we undid all the bolts, everything over here. So we got the drive shaft. It's loose, but we're uh, gotta drop the exhaust first. But this motherfucker is still hot, so we're trying to just wait for this to okay. cool, cool down a little bit. So, so these are next. Yeah. All right. Thirteen square. Yeah. It would have been nice to just uh, not drive the car, so it's cool. But you know, can you just. Those headers, man, are gonna be a pain in the ass. I may just pay to get those done. I don't know. But see, after you're under here, you realize, oh, I could have got like a one-piece drive shaft. I could have got an X-pipe. Control arms. Oh, uh, which one? This one? I believe that's the one. This one? All the things you wish you could have done at the same time to just avoid, you know, being under here again. But. Clutch is the priority, get that broken in. So you're gonna see in the time lapse, I was under the car and uh, Skylar didn't warn me, he was uh, I didn't know you were right there. Well, I was underneath the fucking car. You're gonna see the exhaust just get like dropped right on the top of my head. Good thing I have a thick skull because that fucking hurt. Just, you know, you're gonna see, hopefully I can slow it down as it happens, but you'll see in the time lapse that we have everything. Um, walking by fucking shit just fell right in my head so we're in the process uh, we got disconnected we just got to pull out this and then uh making ground but that fucking hurt my head still hurts <laughs> and then there's Kevin I don't know what he's doing I don't know he looks like he's confused okay, trying so. to disconnect the O2 sensor Okay, and it's way so on the top of the transmission. We've been working on this thing for like 20 minutes. 
Try to spin it around. Not a good design. Button is. Can we get your hand up there to get it? Is it? Okay, for anyone that has tried taking off the factory H pipe, this motherfucker is a pain in the ass. At least, I mean, at least it was for us. It took us, I don't mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but it took us about a half an hour to get this thing off. But now we got access, so my god, that took forever. So after trial and error, and getting sprayed in the face with brake fluid and the mouth. Cut this motherfucker out. We still got the factory clutch in. We gotta get that out. But it was hanging up right on there. Alright, dude, take the clutch out. Alright, let's get this fucker out of here. It's not too bad. Is there some hot spots? Clutch is this guy. That bearing's still pretty good. So good? Yeah, we can sell it. Yeah, I mean it could do a re it could go for a resurface, but that's not bad. It's not bad. We've seen worse. It's not cracked or anything, so it's still good. Oh, all right. All right. This is what was in the car. Factory one. This is still factory one. This is the brand new one, but. I think everything's okay with this one, but you know, it's always good to just sense this out, might as well just replace it anyway. So, clutch is in. So, now the hard part is just getting that motherfucker back up here because that wasn't easy to take out. So, I'm hoping, optimistic, that the process of putting everything back together is going to go a lot smoother. Make contact. Oh, yeah. So, there we go. I recommend just working out the money and just taking this damn thing to a shop when you. I mean, <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll do the clutch, and if we have time, we'll throw up the headers too. No. So, if you haven't done this before, I would just pay the money, take it to a shop. But well, we did it. But well, we did it. Putting shit back together. If anybody wants a factory 11, 12 clutch, here's here's where she's going. You should have had low miles. It's got low miles, man. It's only got 21 and a half, 20, 21,000, 800. Anybody wants it? It's free. It's right there. This too. First come, first serve. So I'd say right now we're probably like 65 to 70% done right now. See, all this is bolted up. We got one bolt, real motherfucker, pain in the ass. It's right, right back through here in the back. So, that's what that extension's for. We're getting there. All right, she's all put back together. Just making sure we're just double checking everything. When you put this back together, make sure Ah, uh, we, we spun it, you can't see, but when you, when you put it back together, the line we made earlier, just make sure that's, it lines up. But. No loose connections. Put that up there. That's, yeah, that's connected, right? That's good. A few sections good? Alright, we're gonna add some fluid because we dropped a little bit of 
brake fluid that... Alright, she's down. Alright, we are done. We just had to bleed the lines. Because um, I didn't have any clutch pressure whatsoever. So, um, clutch fuel is definitely a little bit stiffer than stock. Um, what does it take us? We started, we started at 10 o'clock and it's fucking 6.30. I'm tired. But, uh, we got clutch pressure before when we had it all back together and it had many. So, uh, we're done. We're tired. I need a beer. Alright, I'm just taking out for a little test drive here around the block just to see how it engages and disengages. I mean, it's, I guess it's more like the 13, 14 clutches in these things than the uh, factory 11 and 12s that are in this. Let's back this bitch up. week you need 500 miles stop and go not highway stop and go traffic so the clutch engages disengages back and forth so on and so forth that's how you break in a clutch um, not highway or try to avoid as much highway as possible so I'm 21,838 we need 22,338 ha there's my math that's awesome that's my math for the day you guys have a good one catch you guys in the next video